Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a um, optional chemistry experiment at home. Um, so what I have here is um, the main thing that you need to get in order to do this are a couple of red cabbage leaves. Um, so I got these for 11 cents. Um, maybe even if you ask, they'll give them to you, I don't know. But um, I didn't buy the whole cabbage, I just took some leaves that were kind of there where the other red cabbages were and put them in the uh, produce bag and they weighed them and they said these cost 11 cents. So as long as you get just a little bit um, and not the whole cabbage, then it's um, really cheap. And like I said, if there are some leaves that don't look, I mean, you're not gonna eat them. So if there's some leaves that like look like um, they couldn't sell, then maybe they'd be willing to uh, give them to you to do your experiment. Okay, so um, what you're gonna do with the red cabbage is um, you're going to make it into a juice. So there's a couple ways um, that you could do that. Um, you could microwave it, which is um, what I think I'm gonna do. Um, and, or you could also um, put it in a pot and um, boil it. So what I'm gonna do is um, take the red cabbage and cut it into little pieces. Um, so I'm gonna uh, pause the video and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done with the cutting it all up into pieces. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I cut the cabbage juice, I mean the cabbage leaves into little pieces so you can see in here. You could also rip them with your hands if you don't have scissors. Um, the thing is, is you, your fingers could get a little bit red from the, um, from the cabbage if you don't use scissors. Um, if you can, wear eye protection, sunglasses, uh, anything to help. Um, so here I have um, some water. So I'm just going to uh, fill um, this microwavable container with water. And the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, or you could have just um, put the cabbage pieces in a small pot with water and boil it. So I'm going to um, boil this in the microwave. Um, I'll let you know uh, how it turns out. So we'll make you watch all the microwave going, but I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to start it for like, I don't know, maybe a couple minutes and we'll see how it goes. Uh, after that time. Okay, so this is uh, what it looks like after two minutes, and as you can see, the water is a little bit purple, uh, but I need it to be a lot darker than that. So I am going to uh, continue microwaving this. Uh, maybe I'm going to try for three minutes, three more minutes now. Okay, so I know I said I was going to microwave it for three minutes but I stopped it after two so make sure when you're making this like all microwaves are different and depends on you know how much water you put in there and the size of your container um, so make sure you don't walk away from it because it could boil over and make a mess of your um, microwave now I also smell the nice fragrance of cabbage or you can say not so nice fragrance of cabbage but um, it will smell a bit like cabbage in your kitchen. Um, when you get this, make sure you use protection on your hand. This is gonna be hot. Um, so I'm gonna take this out. Um, and I'm gonna um, pause the video, come back in a minute when I get this out of the uh, microwave. Not a good idea right now for me to hold the camera in one hand and. Uh, not have both hands on this, so I'm gonna pause it. Okay, so now I have my cabbage juice. I also let it cool a bit. And um, what I'm gonna do next is um, I'm going to uh, transfer it into a bunch of little cups. Um, so the neat thing about cabbage juice is that it actually works um, as an indicator. So this liquid um, will change colors based on the pH. Um, so I'm going to put in a bunch of different cups um, and uh, try to test the pH of some different um, liquids and powders and stuff that I have in my, uh, in my own home. 
So I'm gonna uh, pour this and I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so as you can see, I got um, 10 glasses. Um, it's okay if you don't have this many glasses, you'll just have to do, um, you know, a few at a time and clean it out and then continue. But I was, um, I took my cabbage juice and I was able, um, if the cabbage look like looks like it's gonna come out, you could always put like a spoon or something there to try to catch it. And I actually did get some pieces of cabbage in my glasses, but I just um, fished them out with a spoon. Um, so in these 10 glasses, I just have cabbage juice in the bottoms. And um, so I wanna see, a picture of your data. If you have to take multiple pictures, that's fine. But I want you to put your name uh, in the picture so I can see. So this is my data. So I wrote Miss Whedon's data here. And then um, what you're going to do is you're going to test some different things that you have in your house. So um, here's a lineup of some things that I was thinking of testing. Um, I only have uh, 10 glasses, but I could always um, empty these out and reuse them. Also, if you run out of cabbage juice, um, you can put some more water in here and heat it up again, and um, you'll be able to get some more cabbage juice again from those cabbage pieces. Also, when you're done with the cabbage pieces, um, just make sure they've cooled off and you'll you know pour off any liquid into the sink but then the cabbage pieces just go in the garbage you probably want to take the garbage out pretty soon um, just so the it doesn't stink up the garbage the um, old cabbage pieces okay so here are some um, different things that i had that i was thinking of testing um, i have some powdered lemonade um, this is some um, cranberry juice oh there on the other side um, some milk here's some hot sauce some rubbing alcohol I have some uh, table sugar table salt goo gone um, kind of interested to test this one baking powder I have liquid dish soap I have an all-purpose cleaner I have some baking soda and I have some dish powder so um, another thing that things. One, it's going to help me see the color change better versus on my counter um, because the white um, is just a little bit easier to see. And then I can also write here um, what I'm putting in them. Um, you could also do a paper strip or something if this gets wet. I could put like a little label what all of the different ones are. Okay, so I tested um, a bunch of different liquids. I ended up not testing the baking powder because it wasn't open yet. Um, so I decided to uh, not use that, but um, water didn't change it at all for me. And then I did lemonade, cranberry juice, hot sauce, alcohol, um, dish powder, baking soda. This one's Goo Gone. So Goo Gone didn't change at all. Um, neither did sugar or salt. Um, so you can think about what that says about all of these, um, the alcohol, the water, the salt, the sugar, the gugon, um, all stayed the same. Um, and then I decided to put some more water in here and microwave it, um, a minute or two and get some more glasses here because there were some more I wanted to test. I actually saw some coffee over here in a pot and decided to put it in. It's kind of hard. Uh, it's best to test things that aren't, don't have a color to them. 
Um, also, when you, when you, if you have something that's not liquid, since there's water in here already, you don't need to um, dissolve it first. So like here you can even see I still have some dish powder in there. I just literally put dish powder in the bottom of here. You can see there's some sugar because I, I sort of, um, to mix it, I just sort of swirled it. Um, and the amounts, you know, just put in a little to each one. It's, it's a qualitative. Um, so we're just looking at the color change and we're not keeping track of amounts. So don't worry about that. Um, I tried some milk. And so I really can't tell what color it changed because it just looks like milky. milky. So again, with things that are not, you know, kind of see-through, you can try them, but it didn't work so well for me. Um, here's liquid dish soap, and here's my cleaning spray. Um, so in the um, sheet that I gave you, there is some information about how cabbage juice changes based on different pHs, um, what's considered accepted. And so you're going to compare what you find um, to try to tell me uh, what the pH is of the different household solutions that you test. Um, and then also tell me the different uh, concentrations of the different ions that are in there. Um, and answer some questions about that. So if you're going to um, do this, make sure, of course, that you uh, have parental supervision and permission. And um, doing this activity is completely optional, um, but it's a um, at-home option to sort of engage in the acid-base unit. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, clean up all of these glasses um, and put my um, cabbage juice in the garbage and take the garbage out. Um, but this is um, the experiment, so I'm all finished. And then make sure that uh, I'm going to leave a space, but you're going to need to take pictures of the um, data that you collected. And it should include the name of the substances and also your name on it. OK? Um, so I, I hope some of you have the opportunity to do this at home. And if not, uh, again, it's completely optional.